Welcome to this demonstration video where we will run the performance test on Microsoft SQL Server in DBWatch. When we start off this video, we already have added a Microsoft SQL Server to DBWatch. This is covered in other videos, so we won't go through this here. Before we start the performance test on Microsoft SQL Server, there is a few steps we have to do. Select the SQL instance and click on Tasks. You will get the Manage Task and Alerts window, expand the group, and click on the instance. Now you see an overview of the tasks and alerts that are installed or available for the instance. Now scroll down to the Test DML DDL Performance task, it should be somewhere near the bottom. Now click on the radio button in front of the task to select it. Then click on install. The installation was successful. Click OK to close. Now we just click on the X in the corner to close the window. Now if you select the instance, you will get a list of the task and checks installed. And you will see that the test DML DDL performance is installed. Now you can right click on the instance and select configure. Now you are in the instance configuration window. Select the Metadata tab. We have to add a Metadata field to enable the performance test. Click on Add Data. Select the key field and enter performance underscore test, small letters. Now select the value field and type in the number one. Now click on Save. Save was successful. Click OK to close. Now click on the X in the corner to close the window. Now you can click on the Management tab and click to expand the group. Then select the instance. If it's the first time you go into management on that instance, you might be prompted for a framework installation schema. Just select the default and click OK to continue. Select the performance view to expand and then select performance test. If you don't have this option, then you have not done the step where you add the metadata for this instance. Click on performance test and the performance test window opens. Notice that this is slightly different from the performance test window on Azure, as current D2 usage is not relevant on SQL Server. Now right click on performance test and select run all tests. Click OK to start the tests. The test will take about six minutes to run. The test is complete. Uh, click OK to close. The time interval for the two upper graphs is 15 minutes and the values are plotted every 15 seconds. In this test sequence, there are six test runs of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 40,000, 80,000 and 160,000 rows. The graphics show log kilobytes flushed per second and logical reads per second. Middle graphs show average speed per 1000 rows per DML statement, either insert, select, update or delete, and the total time per run per DML statement. The bottom part shows the database information for the database being tested, such as database name, version, addition, test date, etc. And the last table shows statistics from the test. You can also have more detailed statistics if you right click on the performance test and select show statistics. The bottom table shows the average values per thousand rows per DML statement and the last column shows the total elapsed time in milliseconds. The total elapsed time in millisecond values in our example it's 22.3 shows you how fast your machine are. In article Azure Database Performance, in section Comparative Test of MS SQL Server on Physical and Virtual Environments, you can read and compare your statistics with other machines. That completes the performance test on Microsoft SQL Server. Thank you for your time. Check out our other videos as well and contact support at dbwatch.com if you have any questions. Also, check out our wiki pages at wiki.dbwatch.com.